With the NBA trade deadline slowly creeping up over the next couple weeks, many rumors and deals will intensify and perhaps help certain contenders reach a step closer to competing for a title. How's it going guys? My name's Wilson. Names like Kevin Love, who continues to be stuck miserably in Cleveland, will continue to be heard. The Angelo Russell of Golden State will also make some headlines. And of course, Derrick Rose, who's a solid player, wasting away with the struggling Pistons. But it's unlikely any of the future deals before the deadline will be as impactful compared to the 10 biggest trade deadline deals in the last 20 years. Let's start with number 10, when the Kings had had enough of failed franchise star DeMarcus Cousins. Just 4 days before the deadline, traded him to the Pelicans alongside Omer Caspi for rookie buddy Hill, Tariq Evans, Langston Galloway, a 2017 first that became Zach Collins, and a 2017 second Frank Mason III. Looking back, many thought Sacramento was extremely dumb, giving away their best player in his prime for an unproven rookie, a disappointing guard, and an average role player. In reality, the franchise wasn't going anywhere with Cousins, never winning more than 33 games in any of his six and a half seasons there a couple months after ended up selecting the Aaron Fox in the draft by his second season Fox led the franchise to 39 wins better than any seasons with DeMarcus on the team while his career went downhill with numerous big injuries the year after ended up leaving signing with Golden State losing in the finals getting injured again now with the Lakers AD left New Orleans with frustration and now both teams are young the Pelicans hit the jackpot landing Zion now one of the most exciting teams. Number 9, the Philadelphia 76ers landing all-star center Dikembe Mutombo. February 22, 2001, the day of the deadline for Dio Ratliff, Tony Kukoc, Pepe Sanchez, and Nazi Muhammad, a huge game changer for the Sixers who sat at the top of the Eastern Conference standings led by prime Allen Iverson, the eventual MVP with Ratliff breaking his right wrist being out for weeks, Dikembe ended up winning defensive player of the year and the NBA's rebounding leader clinched number one in the conference. Philly went through two great ruling 7 game series in the semis against Vince Carter's Raptors and the conference finals against Ray Allen's Bucks without Matumbo's presence. Philly likely would have not gone to the finals as the second most important player on that team. Without his impact, Philly also wouldn't have won a single game in the finals, famously stealing game 1. Otherwise, Kobe and Shaq would have made history, being the only undefeated team in the postseason. Number 8, I'll put two trades in here by the same Clippers in 2018 and 2019. After giving the injury prone Blake Griffin the max, seeing the team was gonna be average with him after CP3 left with no chance in contending on January 29, 2018, sending their franchise player alongside Bryce Johnson and Willie Reed to the Pistons for Avery Bradley, Tobias Harris, Boban, a first and a second. Where over a year later, on February 6, 2019, Boban and Tobias alongside Mike Scott were traded to the Sixers for Wilson Chandler, Mike Muscala, both who didn't last long, Landry Shamit, now a key piece to the team, two firsts and two seconds. Harris was on verge of a max contract, the franchise smartly letting him go where they were able to free up cap space to sign superstar Kawhi Leonard and use the picks alongside Gallo and Gilgis Alexander, trading them for superstar Paul George. If Leonard and George ends up winning a title or multiple titles these two deals will be ranked higher possibly top five on this list a couple years from now but because the future remains to be seen i give it number eight for now number seven the knicks mortgaging their franchise for carmelo anthony february 12 2011 two days before the deadline months prior regarding Melo's future with the nuggets sending the 27 year old alongside old chauncey billups other role players for almost the entire nick team danilo gallinari wilson chandler Raymond Felton, Tibidi Moskov, multiple picks where Minnesota was also involved in the three-team trade, one of the most complicated trades in NBA history. New York could have just waited for Melo to sign as a free agent a few months after. Denver ended up with a better winning percentage, drawing Melo's time in the Big Apple. The pathetic Knicks only won one playoff series, failing to make the postseason his last four years in New York, became the most criticized player of the decade, getting tons of blame, a lesson many GMs have definitely taken note of. Don't trade half your team for one star if you can get him for free in free agency. After Anthony's departure, the Knicks continue to be the laughing stock of the NBA while the Nuggets successfully built around their youth and now title contenders. Number 6, Marcus Gasol to the Raptors, February 7, 2019. After spending all his career with the Grizzlies, a team where he was past his prime and ready to rebuild, Toronto gave up CJ Miles, Jonas Valanciunas, DeLon Wright, and a 2024 second rounder for the 34-year-old, where his experience, leadership, 
championship and defense was impeccable, especially in the semis. In the tough grind of seven game series, holding Joel Embiid to just 37% shooting, under 18 points a game, never bited for his ball fix out the three point line, created a wall around Giannis in the conference finals, rose to the occasion in the finals, the missing piece for the Raptors in winning the 2019 title. If Gasol wasn't there to guard Embiid in the semis, more than likely, Toronto would have not come out on top. A crucial moment in Raptors history where Memphis is already rebuilding successfully less than a year later. Number 5 Golden State acquiring Andrew Bogut March 13, 2012, two days before the deadline, alongside Steven Jackson, getting rid of Monte Ellis, a decision many diehard Warriors fans were upset about at the time, Bus Epe Udo and Kwame Bus Brown, allowing the necessary cap space to sign Andre Iguodala in 2013, a genius move, Bogut was a huge piece to the 2015 title team, where they might not have won without him. More importantly, sending Ellis to the Bucks allowed Curry to dominate the ball, flourish and become a two-time MVP, changing the game and becoming one of the most transcendent players all time. Number 4. The Pacers setting the stage for Malice in the Palace February 19, 2002, two days before the deadline, Indy was fighting for playoff positioning in a trade with the Bulls, acquiring 22-year-old Ron Artest, Brad Miller, Ron Mercer, and Kevin Ollie for Jalen Rose, Travis Best, Norm Richardson, and a second rounder. At the time, it was called the Jalen Rose deal, gambling for the younger defensive-minded Artest. Indy became an eventual number one seed two years later, winning a league best 61 games in 04, Artest Defensive Player of the Year. Despite all the team's accomplishments, everything was overshadowed by Malice in the Palace, the worst night in NBA history, forever changing the way NBA handles securities and interactions between players and fans. Without this trade, everything would have been different on that night. Or perhaps without that moment, the Pacers might have very well been NBA champions in 2005, something we'll never know. Number 3, Baron Davis turns into Kyrie Irving for the Cavs. On February 24, 2011, the day of the deadline, the Clippers were to get Get rid of Davis's fat contract so badly, they packaged an unprotected first round pick alongside Davis to Cleveland in exchange for Mo Williams and Jamario Moon. The difference of Davis and Williams' salaries were about 11 million more over two years. Viewed as a salary dump, Davis was later amnesty by Cleveland, where Kyrie Irving became the number one pick. An eventual superstar, good enough that LeBron decided to return to Cleveland in summer 2014. Knowing he had another star, the team gave him another star afterwards in Kevin Love. Without this move, James might not have went back to Cleveland, and the 73 win Warriors would have likely been regarded as the greatest team ever. Number two, the most clutch moment moment from the Pistons front office, February 19, 2004, the day of the deadline, Rasheed Wallace played one career game with the Atlanta Hawks, traded from the Blazers 10 days before, part of a three team deal with Atlanta and Boston, a game changer in winning the title, Wallace's impact led to one of the most shocking champions many people would have never predicted, being the missing piece who unlocked Detroit's potential with his excellent defensive presence, the Wallace brothers were nightmares locking down opponents down low protecting the paint, knocked off New Jersey in 7, after being swept by the Nets without Sheed the season before, held the Pacers to averaging under 74 points in the 6 game conference final series. Sheed also got the best of 40 year old Karl Malone in the finals, ended the Kobe Shaq era, a stunning result that will forever be remembered in the history books. Without Sheed, that Pistons team certainly would not have gotten to the finals. Number 1, the Lakers adding Pau Gasol for another title run. February 1st, 2008. At the time, robbing Memphis straight up, landing the star power forward, the perfect second option to Kobe, getting rid of Bus Kwame Brown, who was an absolute travesty with purple and gold. Stephen A. Smith called him a bona fide scrub. Javaris Crittenton, Aaron McKee, and the rights to younger brother Marcus All. Who would have thought the two Mark trades would help his older brother win a title, and him being traded 11 years later, it became his turn to win a title. And when Kwame left the Lakers and Warriors, both franchises ended up winning multiple titles. Gasol made an immediate impact, the perfect complement in the triangle offense. After being 0-12 in the playoffs, Powell enjoyed three finals appearances and two championships, played seven seasons in Los Angeles. Just imagine if the Lakers never acquired Gasol, who knows if Kobe would have won without Shaq, especially with a weak supporting cast, he might not even have stayed in Los Angeles. That trade turned Gasol's career around from being in the worst franchise at the time Becoming an instant winner, Kobe was able to win more championships than Shaq. Mark was able to put the Grizzlies franchise to relevancy the next 10 and a half years, getting traded to a championship team 11 years later. The two Gasol brothers became the first sibling pair crowned NBA champions. 
crazy how things come in full circle. Honorable mentions of other memorable big trades before the deadline, Boston trading Kendrick Perkins and Nate Robinson to the Thunder for Jeff Green, Nana Kristich, a 2012 first. If Boston never traded Perk, they might have been able to win another title since Jeff Green had to get heart surgery, missing the entire 2011-12 season. The Shaquille O'Neal trade for Sean Marion and Marcus Banks didn't work out for Phoenix. And Jazz franchise point guard Darren Williams getting traded to the Nets for Derek Favors, Devin Harris, Cash, and 2011 first round pick Ennis Kanner, and another first, Gorgie Deng. Williams being an absolute atrocity for the Nets, underperformed. It's 2020, Williams is still getting paid by the Nets. Thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe for more content. I love all of you. See you next time.